Hey there everyone, this is Laura. It is almost midnight. I've got about five minutes and I'm just going to share with you something quite exciting that I just found about Spotify. Spotify, of course, is already pretty huge in other parts of the world and it's only just making its um, entry in the US. I'm going to show you inside Spotify once you have an account. Um, you can go to your profile once you've got a Spotify free account set up. Here's my profile. It's synced for me all of my playlists from my iTunes account into social um, media basically. Spotify, when you click on this little um, guy in silhouette icon here, actually integrates with all of your Facebook friends for you. So the social um, capability of sharing music is now being kind of blown out of the water by Spotify and that's potentially why I think it's such an important um, marketing tool, especially for yogis and people who are sharing yoga playlists or any kind of playlist. You can now use your playlists in a social media sense to connect with people and share music. Very, very, very cool. There has been a little thing, though, that I've really felt could be done better by Spotify, and that's like, even though it integrates with Facebook, where's the rest of the world integrated, right? So what I was looking for on here for quite a while was the ability to embed a Spotify playlist on a blog. And this would then drive the the social capability of Spotify even further. Like if you created a playlist on Spotify, shared it with your Facebook friends, um, you know, via like just sharing the playlist to, to Facebook, which you can totally do. Like for instance, if I click on this playlist that I've got here and I click share, I can share it on Facebook, Twitter, or Messenger, right? And I can write a little blurb about it and click share to Facebook or share to Twitter or share to Messenger, right? So that's how you share a playlist. But wouldn't it be cool if you could actually embed the playlist on your blog, just like you can embed a YouTube video? Well, I just found an app that allows you to do that. I'm going to show you. I'm going to go into Firefox. And the app that I've found is right here. It's at httpsocialspotty.com. And the name of the app is Social Spotify. What you do to use it is you get the URL or URL from Spotify for one of your playlists and then you paste it into the link before. It's very easy to get that URL once you're in Spotify. Like if I want to get the URL for this playlist, I right click on that and it brings up this little box and I press copy Spotify URL. So that copies the URL and then I go back to the app and I paste the URL right here and I click go. When I do that, it asks you what genre it is, what you want to name the playlist, and if you want to change the photo from like the social Spotify whatever to a regular photo, like if you have an image that you want to put as the playlist's image, you can do that here too by just clicking on change photo. If you say change photo, it just brings up um, you know, your, your finder and you can click on the image that you want to replace it with. So that's just as easy as, you know, adding an image on Facebook now. And then you can click for that playlist to share on Facebook, but you can also click on share on blog slash website. And in parentheses it says widget. When you click that, look what happens. It brings up the HTML code. So what you would then do is you would copy that code, edit, copy, and you'd go into, you know, one of your dealies here. And let's say that on my tarot blog, for some random reason, I want to include a Portishead playlist. I can just paste that code in there. And then I'm just going to press publish, and I'll show you what that looks like on my blog. So this is like really cool stuff. I'll kind of show you why in a minute. Um, I'm going to click a few posts here so that you can see how that shows up. So here's my tarot post that I'm working on right now. And there's my um, thing right there for my, that's how it would show up as an embedded playlist. So if we click play there, it just automatically sends you to the link to play it. And they have to have Spotify to play it, but that way they don't need to be your Facebook friend. They can just be like randomly um, on your blog and they can, they can still choose to connect with you via Spotify from your blog. 
um, rather than having to be your Facebook friend. So I think that's really cool because potentially here, again, you can start sort of compounding the effects of all of your social media to just skyrocket your social media reach. Um, for instance, like when I publish this blog now, I can get this blog link, which is already inter interfaced with Spotify, and I can take that blog link to Facebook and I can post it as a link on Facebook, on my Facebook profile, on my Facebook pages, yada, yada, yada. And then anyone who sees that even as a Facebook fan gets put in here, but then of course the listens for my playlist can potentially go up a lot here as well. You know, so the other thing I can do is I can call this playlist now in Spotify something like the playlist I created to accompany my most recent blog post or whatever. And maybe people on Spotify then can get directed to my blog post. And this, of course, integrates not only back to Facebook once they've gone to my blog, but to Google Plus One if you want to put a link here and so on and so forth. The cool thing is when you start really compounding the social media that you have, like the blog links to Spotify, the Spotify links to Facebook, the Facebook links to blog, the Facebook links to Spotify, and everything links to everything, the the compounded effect of your social media reach just can go viral a lot faster. All of the social engines, the social rank engines, and all of the rest of it really look for integrated social media like that that are just going to kind of take off like a rocket ship for you and they give you um, more highlighted publicity on the social media um, sites when that happens. So for instance I used to use this strategy with YouTube right if I had an embedded YouTube thing here people would be visiting my embedded YouTube video from my YouTube profile account and from my blog, especially if I email them about my blog post. And then they would also be getting a link to that blog post with a YouTube embed from Facebook. You know, those are like my three platforms usually. So my YouTube viewings would go up. So my YouTube searchability on the YouTube platform would go up just as much as, you know, my visibility on my blog would go up on Google and things like that. And my visibility on Facebook would be also integrated in there because I'm sharing on Facebook. You kind of get where I'm going. Cool to have multiple platforms talking to each other. And this um, kind of one of the ways that you could use Spotify, but also, you know, just this cool app that I found that makes that embeddability um, happen. Again, the app is called, um, here it is again, view social Spotify, socialspotty.com. Basically, it's a widget code generator, and you can also just share the links, you know. So, so with sharing links, here's another cool thing you can do with Spotify now. If you want to email people, maybe you've got an email list of everyone at your yoga studio, and you want to say, hey guys, here's the link on Spotify to the playlist that I did on Monday night, right? And you can just put this link into an email to them. You can drive them to Spotify that way to listen to your playlist, but it's also just like a really cool service you can offer to everyone on your list that might be asking for the music you played at your last retreat or your last yoga class. Social Spotify is the thing that makes all this happen. That's all I wanted to share with you. Sorry if it was long-winded. Again, you know me, I'm always kind of long-winded. There you go. Bye.